Oh, well, hello everybody. I, uh, I sure appreciated all the support on that first video I put out there the other day. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I got a lot of people that emailed me, said they wanted me to grind a chain. I'm not real sure how good I can pull off this chain grinding thing video on it. And I don't know if it's really going to do a lot of good for anybody to see me work my chain grinder, but I can give you guys that don't know uh, some useful tips that'll really help you out. And, you know, there, I mean, there's things I see. So, in fact, I got one good buddy that could have such a way better cut and chain just by things he does wrong. And one of them's hammering that tooth into the into the stone there but anyhow i'll bring you over to my grinder and uh yeah we'll grind a chain and i'll tell you a few things i'm not gonna give away and don't even ask i'm not gonna give away tips on angles and all that stuff i'm just not gonna do it and that stuff i had to figure out on my own lots of i mean it took me forever and i'm not just gonna gonna hand that kind of information out but but i will give you some useful tips so anyhow come on you guys are lazy. Do I kind of do everything around here? I think that's kind of an airhead. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. I almost tripped on my coke boot. I don't know why. Sugar doesn't pick that stuff up for me. That was a joke, sugar. Let's see. Do we got the grinder? God, what's that? I don't know if this is going to work, guys. Well, this is what we got. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should try to cover that window. I need the glasses, I know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just cut logs over there in West Virginia. Not cut logs. I was falling right away for that pipeline. And we rented motels. And anyhow, of course, I mean, you guys know I'm bald headed. Uh, I was outside grinding chains. Didn't have a hat on. <laughs> One of the guys, he saw me in my glasses grinding chain. And like, holy crap, it's Walter White. So, anyhow, I got hung with the Walter White nickname there for a little bit. But, yeah, it was pretty funny. I can't even remember who did that, but I think it was some hippie from Maine. Anyhow, here we go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to dress the stone. And the guys are thinking, oh, you yeah, know, whatever, you know. Dressing your stone is very important as far as how you do it. And I got buddies that don't get all the dirt off their stone. And, and what you're doing, when you're when you're running your chain into your tooth, every time a tooth hits that stone, you're wearing on that stone just a little bit. You're wearing on. And that's the whole purpose of dressing them. You know, you're getting them shaped, you know, to the shape that you want your tooth to cut. But what the hell good is it to dress your stone if you don't dress it completely clean? And, you know, and, it, and then feeding your tooth into the stone. I'll, we'll get to that here in a little bit. But, but I'm going to dress the stone right now. And I, I dress them clean. I dress them all the way clean. And, and the reason why is it doesn't have the true shape of how I got my my dresser set until, I feel stupid, until, the, until it's clean. I mean, it's plain and simple. And I don't know how many people I've seen not dress their stones clean. Stones aren't that expensive. And the more time you take... Here at the grinder, the easier it's going to be up in the brush. And it took me a while to learn that. But uh, here we go. We're, we're we're dressing. We're dressing this stone right now. And I always, I always dress in into the stone. In fact, it really wasn't too long ago that I learned that was the best way to do it. When it comes to grinding. Slow and easy is the only way. You might even in the slow and easy is the only way to go. It's the only way. With everything. Hey, sugar. Bring you over here real quick. 
I don't know how well this is going to work out, but as you can see, that that stone is. Can you see, guys? I'm so sorry. This is this is tough for me. I can't tell if you can see, but that stone is still dirty. So we gotta we gotta make it undirty. Can I start recording? I'll get, I'll get better at this in time, I think. Right there, we got it. We got a stone that is dressed true. And being as I'm old, I can't see the corner very good, so I just take a little bit of dust, lick my finger. I'm just a fan of these white stones. I used to be a blue stones, one of those blue ceramic stones, but I just buy these now, and I can see the corner so much better. I get a better grind. I got to dress them a lot more, but they're cheap. You know, we're log cutters. You know, we make money. We can afford a stone every once in a while. Well, anyhow, this drives sugar crazy. Cause I'll, I'll be in here forever grinding chains, but but I, I like to take my time. Like you know, it's just like hand piling. When you see somebody just sitting there, you know, doing that shit, their chain, their stuff, their chains don't cut very good. They, you got to take your time. It's a, it's a delicate art. You know, even even with a grinder, it's just. Let's see. You just barely, barely run in there like that. And then I let them clean. I need to quit trying to look back because I can't freaking do it. You know, then I let them clean. Huh? And then, you know, what you got is a good looking tooth, or you can be proud of. I've seen some guys put some chains on their saws and they just, I can lose a lot of respect for a cutter by just, just watching what they do with their chains. They just, them big old gullets sticking out, that's just lazy and they're, they're horrible. I don't like a gullet. <laughs> A little. So I, I don't I don't think you guys are really gaining anything by by watching me grind these chains, but I'll switch over to the other side just so you can see how this grinder works. I'll make it all and give you a close up of it, try to get a close up of these teeth here, but we'll do the other side here. Anyhow, with this grinder, all you gotta do is just flip your carriage. Go to the other side. Well, I've done more milling and filing and messing around with this grinder. When I first got it, I hated it. Of course, I didn't know how to cut trees when I first got it. But it, it took me years and years and years to get a chain that I like. And you know, an old boy told me one time, you know, when you're cutting big wood, your chain's got to float out. Your chain can't cut out. Well, hell, my chain's always trying to cut out of cuts. You know, if I have a chain, well, that's not necessarily true when I'm cutting this stupid tree length stuff. 
I'll, I mean, I'll take my break because I'm pretty aggressive sometimes and, and fool around with it. But, but when I'm, when I'm cutting wood, I got a buck, you know, nice wood. My chains float out and if they don't float out of the cut, they go back in my pack sack. Because you're going to, what you're going to have running stuff like that is you're going to have terrible bucks and, you know, you're going to get a bad name for yourself. So it's best just to run good rigging. Anyhow, no one here's the other side. Looks like the other side. I get it where I want it and not let it clean a little. Yeah. And everything on this grinder is wore out, but nobody else could ever grind on this grinder than me. It's, uh, Lots and lots of sand. Let it clean for a second. And it's just, it's just simple things like that that really make a difference. So no, that's that's really all I got. For you guys, I wish I had something way cooler, but. Oh my god, that looks wonderful. That just looks absolutely wonderful. Uh oh, there went a piece of my finger. <gasps> yeah, you know what? Well, yes, sir. How would I do this to best show you? Maybe put it on here backwards. I guess backwards is a word. All right. Can I flip this thing now? No, I can't flip it. I don't understand why it won't let me flip it around. I, I just gotta try to guess, I guess. Let me can. I just, I don't know how good, I will get better at this and I will get it figured out. I'll take some pictures of the teeth and show them to you. Gosh guys, I don't know. I don't, once my camera gets rolling, I cannot, I cannot, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't make it, I can't make it reverse to the regular, you know, the regular way you're supposed to take a picture. It's on the selfie mode right now. And anyhow, I'm just. I'm just having hell showing you these teeth here. And the camera's not doing a very good job of showing. But this is kind of pointless. I'm just done. I'm done trying to do that. Well, if you guys have any suggestions for me on, on how to do that right, you know, let me know. I, I don't know. I need to get a different camera or something. Oh, and, and before I did that, I did cock my hat just right, just so you know. So, anyhow, we'll talk to you guys later. I hope everybody has a good one. God bless you and love you all. Bye.